Welcome back, everyone. We are with our good friend, Nancy Fuller, and today she's helping us count down to summer with a beautiful dessert that you and I can make in under an hour, according to Nancy, right? Absolutely, and it's fail -proof. And it's fail -proof. Nancy Fuller in the house, everybody. Give it up. Thank you. Debbie is joined at the counter with Senior Vice President of Physicians Mutual, Bob Yay! Yay. <laughs> we love having him, and of course, the good Shirley. Oh, my we farming love this. friend. Your farming friend, oh, you're exactly. Yes, you guys have a lot friend. in common with we that. We absolutely do. Now, here's one of the things that I love about you, and I love a lot about you, uh, that you <laughs> like to... There's a lot to love. There's a lot to love. <laughs> is that you create these recipes that are so accessible for guys like me, and you say that this, this cobbler that we're about to make is something that we could all do. Absolutely, that's, I, that's what I believe in. Fresh is best unless you're stressed. <laughs> so we're not stressed today, so we're, ha we're using fresh. We're using fresh, which I like. We're, and when we say fresh, we're talking about fresh cherries. Fresh oh. cherries. Okay, very good. So good. Now, uh, let's get started then. We're gonna obviously start with the cherries. I see all these guys have been pitted, which may take some time. You gotta get a special device, Nancy, to kind of get those pits out. You do. You have to buy the whole thing. How does you it work? Do. You have to buy this huge kit. <laughs> Not or, if you're Nancy Fuller. Or you could use a straw and a Coke bottle, I heard. I did hear somebody say something about a thumb tack. Yeah. How do you do it? Here you go. Just with your fingers. Just like that. You Best just rip thumbs. it apart. Low tech. Just Best rip it apart. Thumbnail. There we go. Just like I did. Uh, I like see? that. See? Boom. Put it in there. That's all you have to do, everybody. So Done. we pit our cherries. And then we pour them in there, and we get them ready, sort of like our, the base of the cherry cobbler, which is what we're making today. I'm going to keep pitting while you, while you I put those see guys that. in there. Okay, well. Now that I've got the hang of this. We're just going to put a little vanilla. Okay. Oopsie. There you go. And then we're going to put a little almond extract. Very mm. easy. And then a little lemon juice. Nice. Just like that. And there's our flavor. That's and it. There we that's go. That's it. Mm. That's it. It's so simple. Less is more. There we oh, go. Yeah. That's done. Um... Uh-oh. Mm. Did I do that? Cameron. Uh-oh. <laughs> but that's, you know what? That's when you're making the cheese, we are having the cobbler, and you're like, oh, man, this is fresh, because I just had one of the stems. Right. Put that out of your teeth, and you'll be thanking me later. Okay, so yeah. now we do the dough. Do flour. Okay, we get a little regular flour. Sugar. Sugar. Sugar, honey. Man, when, when you said this was going to be easy, I mean, I had no idea. How easy? Melted butter. Okay. Me. Huh? <laughs> I like the anticipation. You guys feel that? And yeah. egg. The yeah. pauses in between each one. And that is really it? That is it, Nancy? So delicious. Salt. Mm. Just like that. Do you want me to stir it up? Of course. Yes. No. <laughs> well, now wait. Come on. No. Let me do something in here. Wait. You can stir it, but you stir it lightly. You don't stir it like this. Why? Do, why is that You now? stir it like That's this. That's a lot of pressure. Now so I'm feeling nervous. It's I don't know. light and fluffy. Okay. Light, light and, fluffy, and fluffy like me. There you go. How am I doing? You're doing very well. Okay, good. So, more, more, more. But I don't want to do it. I, listen, I'm trying to take my you time. I'm trying fast. to go light and fluffy. You just don't have okay. to be heavy. Good, you good, know, good. I will say it? one thing about pitting the cherries, Nancy. I've done it before as well. You have to be very careful because that cherry juice will stain everything. Oh. Well, yes, it will. So, you want lots of paper towels. Unless you want stains all over your shirt, which could be kind of cute. you know, <laughs> so you have on a t-shirt, <laughs> yeah. and then you have tie-dye. That, that's what I was thinking as well. There you go. Can Natural I ask you this also? Let's say that we, wanted to, make it, we wanted to make a peach cobbler. Would you add the same thing? It's essentially exactly the same, just use, you know, peaches or strawberries or whatever it is that you want instead of the cherries? You can use any fresh fruit, any frozen fruit, anything you want. And everything that we added to the cherries would be the same? We wouldn't change that at all? No. Wow, Very good. good. All right. Same yeah, way. Could, just everything is. Yep. Yeah. Even you could put. Even you could. You could even put a little um, cinnamon in it. Mmm. Oh, I like that. That would be nice too. I mean, I can't believe how easy this is. Nancy. Is, it, is, it, is that why you had me in the kitchen with you? Because you knew how easy this was going to be? Yes, and I heard you couldn't cook. Wow. <laughs> wow. Who told oh. you that? Oh. Well, well, see. Every day I get a little bit better, everybody. That's true. I'm working hard. Let's okay. put this in the oven. Where's the oven? A little too Joke. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> How long and what temperature, Nance? We're going to put this in at 350. Okay. We'll get the oven mitts here. So okay. We'll burn ourselves. And then uh -oh. instantly. Wow. Oh. You see that? 
I probably oh. made that one. Cameron. Down. Ooh, Cameron left <laughs> a pit in my cherry. You tried to break one. my tooth, Cameron. Oh, man. You've got to be careful with that. Oh, now. dear. Oh, you must be very careful I'm, when you pit your cherry. Okay, okay. I'm learning. Now, how about this? Can we just appreciate how nice this is? It's looks beautiful. Everybody? Doesn't that look great? Take that to someone's home. Look and it just me. It takes no time to cook. Oh, zero, God, but it looks good. very oh. impressive. 45 oh. minutes in the oven, 350 okay. degrees, and preheat the oven. Yeah. So, Nancy, I know I understand you have something very exciting coming up with your grandchildren. You want to tell I us about do. It? You know, my eight-year-old granddaughter, Sydney, wrote a little story. And in her little elementary school, she won first place. Oh, oh and goodness. there's Sydney oh. with me without makeup. <laughs> Great. <laughs> You look cool. Oh, well, we with can't or without. them all. With or without. Mm. And then the other little girl in the picture, the other picture, yeah. Yeah. the girl in the middle, the 14-year-old who's now 15, she did all the illustrations. Oh, oh wow. wow. She is a phenomenal really? artist. Yes. Amazing. So, you have, a, so, so you have a book coming out with them. So I do. So they created the story and the, and the illustrations, and I'm creating the recipes. Oh. It's and it's going to be for children because I think it's see. vital for children to eat breakfast in the morning before they go to school. Sure. And a good breakfast. Absolutely. It is so important. I wish I could tell the world. Well, you just did. Okay. Okay, world. My people. <laughs> All right, I'm going in. May I taste you it? You are? Yes. It's really Without me? wonderful. Mm. What do you think, Cam? Yeah. Oh, what's that good? Mm. That I heard good. somebody say that I couldn't cook. This is proof that I can bake. Yeah. Uh, what? You can. Well done. Come on, thank, thank you, you very Nancy. Much. This was delicious. Mm. Yeah. You all can find this recipe on HallmarkChannel.com. And for more on Nancy, visit Thanks, everybody.